We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles. The Yankees are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Asher Wojciechowski, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. We to show you what he did in game. May versus what he's done the so far at the plate in June. Torres. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they do come in fresh off a victory last time out, but they've been giving ground in the division of late. They've won just twice in their last seven games. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game, they scored a bunch of runs, and let's see if they continue that today. 67 degrees our game time temperature. A 1 1. Popped him up. Severino over to his left. He's got it one away. That second. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. He comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season. Boy, talking about a damaged season. Leads the league in home runs and runs batted in. This guy has a legitimate shot to win the Triple Crown. First pitch of the at-bat. Sliced hard on the ground. Davis has it, and he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. That is third. The left field. Giancarlo Digging in now, Giancarlo Stanton, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. No. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Yankees nothing. Orioles coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. James Paxton gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. Here's the shortstop now, Jose off. Iglesias. It'll lead things off here in the bottom the half of the first. Iglesias. The pitch. A ball and no strikes. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. You know, Matty, the season's such a grind, and you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming together, that's a special feeling. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board. Boys are flying around. At the plate now, Ramon Urias. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Paxton has pitched north of 700 innings in the majors and hangs an ERA just a little over three and a half. Two 
2-0 now. Oh, no. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. 3-0 and oh, now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. And he won't even have to take the bat off. It's Moorings, a four-pitch walk here. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Into the box now, Trey Mancini. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Iglesias over at second. Urias on at first with nobody out. Outside for a ball one and one. And he fouls this one off. From the belt, the pitch. And it's fouled away. The one two gets him looking strike three. Some guys with big arms like this they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they that can and four. where it ends up That's isn't that big of a concern hitter. but that Run wasn't the off. case there. That was a Go very well pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. And here's Renato Nunez as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Here's a swing and a miss one and one. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, d -Rod, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. Swing and a ground ball to third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. The head-to-head -head with James Paxton, he's gone three for eight. Runners are at first and third, one away. That's wide, 2-0. 2-0 oh. count, runners at the corners. You can bet he's looking for something to drive right here. There's a good chance he gets something to hit, too. From the stretch. Outside and low, 3-0. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Here's 
Here it is, the 3 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. At this rate, he's going to set that some kind good. of a record for walks no issued in the game, or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone, or if he continues to struggle. Coming to the plate now, Anthony Santander. And the Orioles looking for more here in this game's opening frame. He's set and the pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Now the 2-1. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Boy, he had to be sitting on a fastball Dero right there because he pulls this one and gets the barrel to it to drive that runner in from third. Yeah, Dan, you can tell he was sitting all over it. You don't get to a fastball like that without knowing it's coming. Nice piece of hitting. Digging in, Austin Hayes. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. And they'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1 0. Oh. I think this inning could have far reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. The 1 0. Oh. High and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded. But you can't be too upset with the sack clock. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. comes set. Here comes the pitch. Count now a ball and a strike. Three runs already home here. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Boom goes the dynamite. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. Home run number two for him on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb at the bottom of the first. comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. 
So boy that ERA is going to take a bit of a tumble here as he gets cuffed around pretty good and winds up not being able to survive the first. Jonathan Holder comes on to work much earlier than anticipated obviously as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. Jonathan Holder. Chris Davis at the plate now. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. A 1 1. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. The bouncer to the left side. Throw in the oh. dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. But it'll come at a cost as six cross the plate, three of them on this three run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's the Orioles six and the Yankees nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mike Talkman. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going. So what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. And now pitch on the way. No, that's low. On the outside black, good pitch called for a strike. Ball and two strikes now. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. First delivery to him on the way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Chasing after it is Santander. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. That is it. The designated hitter, Mike Ford. Stepping in, Mike Ford. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. Hey. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 oh and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too.
Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Nope, now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Swing and a soft liner down the line in right. Foul. Another full count pitch home. This one's flared off to the right side. In comes Judge. He's not going to get to it. So the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. Yeah, He's man. got a big old smile on his team. face. He knows he has a six-run lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. At the plate, Ramon Urias. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Well, this second inning is not starting out any better than the first was. He just might not have it in this one. Oh, up around the chin there. 2 and 0. Oh. When you're down 6 on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. The 2-0. Yeah. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2-0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's 2-2. Two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Just hung in there on that one. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and all in all he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. The 3 2 pitch fouled off. The 3 2 one more time. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. A payoff pitch one more time. Popped him up. Higashioka is there. Makes the play one away. Now batting. The right fielder. Trey. Mancini. So here's Trey Mancini. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. First offering on its way. In there, no balls and a strike. A 
On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Nope. Fastball well outside. Runners on first with one down. Well hit to right. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. The one two is at the knees and called strike three. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Stepping in now, Renato Nunez. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. One for one after a single this first time up. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second the knock in the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. In now, Hanser Alberto. And yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Alberto is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. Fastball just missed above the zone. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Count 3 0. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. The 3 0. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Ready for another chance? Anthony Santander looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at-bat. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. A ball and a strike. He must have been sitting fastball right there because he is not going to see a better pitch tonight. He cannot let that hanger go. Two out, bases loaded. Into the corner and slicing foul. And another foul ball. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Orioles leave them loaded, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing.
So coming to the plate, Luke Voigt. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Here it comes. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot and by the time it got there it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate Kyle Higashioka as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. One home run and five driven in. The 1 0. Higashioka playing here in his age 29 season. He was selected in the seventh round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Jeez, this looked like a routine grounder that just got away from him. Every school kid knows that you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. Runner at first following the error, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Tyler Wade. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and oh. Now, when you've got a six-run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at, guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. The 2-0 -oh on the way. On the ground to third. To second for one. On to Davis, but too late, and they'll settle for just the one. Well, he showed right there, White. He's such a tough guy to double up. He can fly, and he busted it down the line, so they just get the one out. Digging in to try it again. Torres, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here. You would stride to the plate for this A.B. trying to chop wood. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Yanks leave one. They still find themselves down six zip. Welcome back to Baltimore as we send you down to check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the Orioles. Austin Hayes, the, the next to bat. Leader. He'll get us going Austin. in the home half of inning number three. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. Ball. ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Oops, Just foul. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. And he popped him up. 
Stanton coming on, but he's not going to be able to make a play on it as it finds the outfield grass for a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes there. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Standing in now, Pedro Severino. As he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. It's seven nothing. When you're up by seven runs any time in a game, let alone this early, it feels awfully good. They are hitting on all cylinders here, but they have to be careful not to let off the gas pedal now. Here's Chris Davis now as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. One ball, one strike. One one pitch is a slider that's one cut on and missed for strike two. No one out with a runner at second. Misses ball two. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. Here now the 2 2. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. The 2 2 one more time. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And it's fouled away. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas, so. When you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. The 3-2 pitch. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. He's set. Here's the 3-2. and two. Lifted into center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Back to the top of the Oriole lineup now and stepping in, Jose Iglesias. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. From the stretch. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. One and two, here it comes. Fouled away.
the one two line softly toward the hole and this will be taken in by the third baseman for the second out. Now batting the second baseman Romo Urias. Coming to the plate now Ramon Urias in his last at bat he popped out in foul ground. Yeah this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. One pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's eight to nothing. Right number and here's the big right-handed power threat, eight. Trey Mancini. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here comes the 0 1. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0 and 2. Made him look silly with that one. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as we begin the top of the fourth. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Now here's the pitch. Nope, at the ball. 1-0. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. Good time now to check out the Orioles' road now to the show report as you see a couple of guys in the upper forward. levels that have been making waves of late. Giancarlo Stanton now as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one 0 for one after a pop out in foul territory his first time through here comes the 1 0 sneaks a fastball by him at the letters it's one and one I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball Wow was he behind that fastball Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. Ball three. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. 
probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Number 25 for him on the year. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake. And you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. And he takes ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. That's a ball. And a fastball upstairs here that runs it to 2 and 0. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. In there, 2 and 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Santander waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Up next for the Yankees, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Ready now, Gio Urshela comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. The Yankees answer right back on the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Orioles eight and the Yankees one. Ready once again, Renato Nunez. He singled his last time up. Designated hitter, Renato Nunez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Too low, one and zero. Oh. Count one and oh. And this one's too far inside ball two. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. And not the kind of swing Count you're hoping for one. on two and oh as they bunch him up inside. It's two and one now. Sent on the ground but right into the shift. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, I think it's safe to say the ice is melted on this guy. Okay. He had been cold the coming into this hit. game. But that Foster. being his third knock, Alberto. I guarantee you my man's smiling on the inside. Into the box now, Hanser Alberto, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. A couple of walks for him thus far. Good 
change up there as he takes command 0 and 2. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Grounded back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Boy, that's a crazy at bat right there. Takes two pitches, two quality pitches, then gets a third one, and he hits a bullet for a single. I can't tell you how good that feels as a former hitter right there. 0 2, you're pretty much dead to rights, and he comes through with a big knock. First pitch coming, here it is. And that's by him, it's 0-1. Well, this has been a lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen, as you can see there. They're asking a lot of him in this one, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a day off or two after this one. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judges under it. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. We'll see if moving up the third pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go for third, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a hit. Now at the plate, Austin Hayes. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh and one. Set to deliver the 0 and one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. The 1-2. One, two. All right, no more hoping he's going to chase. It's 2-2 two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Stepping in now, Pedro Severino. Rounded down the third baseline. Throw on to first is going to be in time, and the Oriole threat goes by the wayside as the inning is over. Orioles strand a couple, and it remains an 8-1 to one ball game. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he stressed to me is the need for them to have more competitive at-bats the rest of the game. He told me he can't recall many times where they've been able to get to a full count today. And while that's not always a necessity for success, they've clearly had their struggles today, especially when it comes to making things difficult on the opposing pitching. All right, Heidi, thank you. Leading off with the Yankees. In now is the Yankees D.H. Mike, Mike Ford 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. 
Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way, come at him with hard velo late, or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. The 1-0. Two balls, no strike. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. The three and one pitch. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at three and two. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Santander's got it, and there's one away. Now batter, the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Down the left field line and deep. And no one will get this one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. So it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Into the box, Kyle Higashioka. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 1. Two out, nobody on. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. A 1 1. We got two balls, one strike. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. It's still an eight to one ball game. Luis Sessa gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Chris Davis. Now here's the pitch. And a high strike there, 0-1. One and one, the count to Chris Davis. Sessa. A 27 year old. He's a five year vet at the major league level. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles first baseman. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Pops this one up. Stanton coming on, but this will land untouched. Another try at 2 2. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full 3 and 2 here. 
Sessa has thrown a little over 50 innings and in that time he's compiled a whip under 1.3 translation he's better than league average in that category high and deep down the left field line and this will wind up a foul ball. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Final line there for the Go Yankees starting 11. pitcher. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Well, this one's really easy to dissect. Too many pitches left over the heart of the plate. Three bombs allowed in this one. He's going to have to do a better job of throwing quality pitches down the road. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one, no strike. Hey. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. One one now to Iglesias. One out, nobody on. To two balls and two strikes now. Still two and two. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Ramon Urias waits on deck. Good swing just a little early and he'll see another payoff pitch. The three two one more time. There's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now to the plate, Ramon Urias. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. 2 and 0. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Trey Mancini would be next. The 3 0. And a fastball misses there. Ball 4. The right fielder, number 16, Trey. Ready for another Mancini. shot now, Trey Mancini. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. First pitch coming, here it is. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it. And that ends the inning. One left for the Orioles, and it remains an eight to one ball game. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That elevated fastball right there, 
that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now a flare out toward right center. Urias ranging into the outfield. He can't get there as it falls in. Now back, Corta, Labor, Corta. At the plate now, Torres, as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And shot to third base, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. Now at the plate, Aaron Judge. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. He's ready. Here's the first offering. One out. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left-hander up and throwing. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. 1-1 one, one. is strike two swinging. Count one and two. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. Runner on first in a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches oh, down in the zone. So I think that pitch double up right there was a good one. Obviously the double play is more efficient. But you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. 0-1 the count. From the stretch. One and one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. One and one. Here it is. A little bit outside. Two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fouled off. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Popped him up. Urias has got it, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. It's still an eight to one ball game. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the DH, Renato Nunez. The designated hitter, Renato Nunez. First pitch on its way. Breaking ball drops right in the shoot for a strike. And he misses with it one and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. 
hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. A two-and-one count to Nunez. Looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day. Usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more, but I guess he's earned some respect in this one. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. A full count to the Orioles' designated hitter. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. He'll try it again, three and two. Fly ball to straightaway left. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Up next to Royal, the third baseman, Hunter Alberto. So, digging in now, Hunter Alberto. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball, Ball one. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. Liner in there for a base hit. Now this will rattle up against the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Anthony Santander the next to bat as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Popped up. Higashioka has a play. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now back, center fielder. Off there. Hey. Standing in, Austin Hayes. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch coming, here it is. Ready with the 0-1. And that misses one and one. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. First pitch of the at bat. And that misses for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. The one one. 
Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Yank the slider across that time. Laid off for a ball. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the payoff pitch home. A bouncer up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. He took that back right where it came from. Nice ribby knock right up the chute there. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You, know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders. But that ball was hit just out of his reach. Right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. At the plate, Chris Davis. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And there's ball one. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. The 1-1 one, one home. A shot down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. and two. To two balls and two strikes now. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. The 3-2 pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Another good inning for the O's. Fans like it too. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Wade LeBlanc is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 23. Wade LeBlanc. All set for the start of the inning and standing in the outfielder, Mike Talkman. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here comes the first pitch. Ball, that pitch is out. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Now here's the pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Santander is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Up next for the Yankees, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Digging in once again, Gio Urshela. No hits to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Now that ball is hit well deep down the left field line headed toward the foul pole. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. Oh and the throws wide as it gets by him at second. 
When that one left the bat, I wasn't sure where it was going to come down. I thought it might have a chance. Yeah, same here, man. It kind of got lost high in the sky before it one-hopped the fence for an extra base hit. During the daytime, that thing probably would have carried out of here, but you can't complain too much about a double. Standing in now, Mike Ford. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box now, Luke Voigt. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. He was not messing around in that at-bat. Looking for a first-pitch fastball all the way, and that's exactly what he got. Nice job to rip it down the line and drive in a run at the same time. He'll feel good about that one. to the plate now Kyle Higashioka as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far the 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Off speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a three one count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Santander grabs it to retire the side. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yankees time. strike for a run on the RBI double. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Orioles 10 and the Yankees 2. Last half of the seventh here, and stepping up as the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way, and he popped him up. In comes Judge. He can't make a play on it as this falls for another leadoff hit. I'm shocked this pitcher keeps trying to attack the zone with them being so aggressive early in the count. You wonder if he wouldn't be served a little better, just kind of nibbling for a little bit early and then pound in the zone late. Stepping in now, Ramon Urias. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Now the one and one pitch. At the ball. Count is two. A runner at first with no outs here. All even now, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Grounded to the right. 
And that is into right field, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in his zone, gets him to hit it on the ground. But obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. Ben Heller enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 61, Ben Heller. So now to the plate, Trey Mancini, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Heller is a fairly prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a lot of strikeouts, and that clearly helps him through the tough spots like the one he finds himself in here. Matty V, let me tell you something. What makes this guy so special? He's like his own relief pitcher for a lead pitcher. He gets into trouble, and what does he do? He kind of puts it in fifth gear, and he just takes it up another notch. Not a lot of guys can do what this guy does. He can pitch a couple of different gears, and when he puts that thing in full drive, he's nearly impossible to make contact off of. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. First and second here with nobody out. So a full count now. Renato Nunez waits on deck. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Boom goes the dynamite. So a three run shot to left center number 10 for him on the year as this lead got even wider. I know height sights 20 20 but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget he homered yesterday so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Now that at the plate Renato Nunez. And so take a look at ball one three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two and O oh count. Here it comes. Hey. Two balls, one strike. I count. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And there's one away. Now that Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Hanser Alberto. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. First pitch of the at bat. That's a ball. Still only one out in the inning. High and deep to left center field. Back goes Stanton. Still going back. Boom goes the dynamite.
So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 11 for him on the season as they just continue to pour it on here. on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Now back left fielder into the box Anthony Santander as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all. Four runs here in this half inning. And it's fouled away. Kainley, 30 years of age. He was a first round pick back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. He's got it. And there's out number two. Now batter, the center fielder, Austin Hey. Stepping into the box, Austin Hayes. He's two for three and looking for more here. From the stretch, back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard-hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid. At the plate now, Pedro Severino. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's had a great game so far, and a triple would complete the cycle. A one pitch on its way. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. Eighth inning coming up. The O's lead this thing 14-2. to two. New inning set to get underway, and set to go is the second baseman, Tyler Wade. The second baseman, Tyler Wade. First pitch of the at-bat. Fastball well outside. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line and left. And that's in there. Base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside oh, half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d row and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Standing in now, Torres. As this is grounded foul off to the left. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Nobody out, runner on first. Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. Into the bleachers, and gone!
So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number 16 for him on the year. But that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. Well, some people would say this homer is wasted because they're down so big tonight, but I'm not one of them. I think anything you can build on and take into the next game is valuable, and at least they're still battling. Sean Armstrong is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Sean Armstrong. The right field, number 99. Into the box now, Aaron Judge, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting, left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. So striding in, Giancarlo Stanton. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Outside for a ball, one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Santander is under this one and he's got it for out number two now that is the center fielder Mike Talkman. digging in Mike Talkman. he's batting cleanup but has been shut down so far at the plate 0 for 3 from the stretch here's the pitch and a ball one and oh now here it comes there's a cut fastball that time that runs in a bit too tight and it's two and oh now. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Two out, nobody on. Hard hit towards center. That gets down, and the inning will continue. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. No mistake what he now was back. sitting on. First Fastball, first. middle of the plate, Yo. kept his hands back, first stayed first. through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh one, here's the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And Hayes will make the catch. This side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Orioles are on top. 14 to 4. Stepping up to the plate, Chris Lead Davis off. looking Lord to change Orioles. his fortunes here. The 0 for 4 with two strikeouts Chris. so far in the game. Davis. First delivery to him on the way. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. 
you know, something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Now the 1-0. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Two and one. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. In now, Jose Iglesias. He hits it hard on the ground to the left. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Digging in and looking for more, Ramon Urias. He's two for three thus far. Now here's the pitch in there for strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. You don't see too many guys at this level be laid on off-speed pitches right there. That tells me he was totally sitting on something else or was going automatic take. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. He's right there. Throw on to Voigt, takes care of him, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. But you can forgive them as they still hold an enormous lead. Stepping in, Mike Ford starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. First offering on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. The 1-0. Fouled off. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. And he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Into the box, Luke Voigt. Hit hard to third. A quick glove at third, and there were two gone. Now batter. The catcher. 
Kyle Higashioka. Digging in, Kyle Higashioka. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here comes the first pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. And it's one and one. One oh. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last chance for the Yankees. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And now this crowd estimated at around 26,000 fans comes to their feet. Full count now. Three and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. You know, with two outs and nobody on, that's the last thing you want to do on the mound. That really gives the opposition some hope that they can do something with this inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tyler Wade. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Well, that's off the plate. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. He got the pitch he wanted and he didn't now miss that. it right there. Hammer job. Labor. Four. Stepping in now, Torres, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here comes the 0-1. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. And he'll make the catch. And the Orioles have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter. But it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 14 to 4 is the way this one ends. The Baltimore Orioles jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Asher Wojciechowski takes the win on the mound his second of the year permitting only two hits in six complete innings. James Paxton struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show.